Hello, welcome to DeskTime. This video will guide you through the main features of DeskTime, including tracking time, creating reports, and changing settings. To begin with, DeskTime itself is an application. To track any time, you'll need to install it on your computer and log into your account. Once online, you'll see a green DeskTime icon in your taskbar here. You can right-click on the icon to turn on private time, which will temporarily stop all tracking. Don't forget to turn it off when you resume work. You can enable automatic reminders to take breaks here, as well as log out or quit the application here. You can also access the project time tracker here, but I will tell you more about it when you reach the project section. Right now, let's go to My Desk Time page. This is My Desk Time page. Here you can see when you arrived to work, as well as your total time since you began working. Desk time time shows you how much time you have spent at your computer, whereas productive time shows how much of that time has been spent on productive applications, expressed as percentage here. Effectiveness compares your productive time to your minimum working hours, expressed as percentage here. Lastly, in this box you can see how your current effectiveness compares to your teammates and the entire company. Below, you'll find the productivity bar. Here you can see a detailed breakdown on how your time has been spent today, divided into 5-minute segments. Hovering your mouse over any bar will show you all of the applications used during that time. The green bars represent productive applications, the gray bars are neutral applications, and the orange ones are productive applications. Here you can also log any offline time by clicking on the idle period, entering details about the period, and pressing save. Slightly below, you'll also see the projects bar. Here you can see the time spent on projects today using our project timer. I'll tell you more about that when we reach the projects section. You can also log your work on projects manually from here by clicking on any of the fields under track time. Next, you'll find the applications that you have used today divided into productive, neutral and unproductive sections. Here you can also see what documents or URLs have been used in that application, including how much time has been spent on each of them. After this, you can find the Categories section. Here you can see what kind of applications you have used for today – office apps, email, social media, and others. At the very bottom of the page, you can see all of the time you have spent on projects and tasks for the day. Next is one of the most important time tracking tools, the Projects section. With this feature, you can track your time to specific projects and tasks, be they clients, assignments, or everyday routines. You can see all the projects created in your account here. To create a project, use the New Project button. After giving your project a name, you can assign it to everyone or only to yourself here. Optionally, enter project hourly rates, estimate costs, and time on click on Save. Now you can open your created project and edit details, or add tasks to it here. To track your time to your project, you can use the DeskTime Project Tracker, found when right-clicking on the DeskTime app icon on your taskbar and choosing the option Create a Project or Search for a Project. This will open the tracker where you can search for your new project and task and click on Start to begin tracking your time. Now all your work will be logged under Tag Task until you stop the timer. You can also log time for projects manually by editing the project bar of your My Desk Time page as I showed you earlier. Moving forward, there are two calendar features to manage your working times and days. In the Work Schedule section, you can use shifts assigned to you and your teammates or request new shift times for yourself. To create a request, click on Add Schedule. Select the date and time for when the shift starts and ends, and select Minimum Hours. Optionally, you can choose to apply the shift to multiple days using the Repeat Shift function. In the end, click Save. The new shift will appear in the calendar as gray and pending, 
and will be later either approved or declined by the admin. In the absence calendar, you can view vacations, sick days and times away from the office for yourself and your teammates. Similarly to work schedules, you can submit absence requests here. To create an absence request, click Add Away Time. Select one of the eight absence types and add a description to the request. Lastly, select the dates for the absence and click on Save in the end. It will be accepted or declined by an admin later on. In the Reports section, you can take a closer look at your track time. In the overview, you can see the general information about your productivity, absences and used applications. At the top, you can change the time period to a week or a month and navigate using these arrows. The Compare by Time section allows you to compare your results in two different time periods. In the Extra Hours section, you can see how much time you have spent coming in early and staying late at work. The two projects sections will show how much time has been spent on each project in the selected time period, also allowing you to check productivity and apps used while tracking a specific project. The Exports section allows you to take data gathered by desk time and export it into Excel files. Here you can get information about your attendance in the team members export, web pages and documents worked on in the Windows title export, and get time spent on tasks in the project's team members export, among many others. To create an export, click on Generate button on any of the exports. This will open a window here, where you will need to specify details for the export. Select the period for your export using these buttons or use the calendar to select specific time period. You do not need to select the user here, as you will already be selected. Lastly, choose how to group the data and what format to export the file in. Now you can create the export. It will be generated in a short while, ready to be downloaded and viewed on your computer. In the settings you can view your profile details, as well as manage your calendar integrations. In the profile section you can change your profile picture, email address and password. Here, you can also see what are the set working days and times for you, as well as when will desktop and track time for you here. In the integration section, you can integrate Google or Outlook calendars into your profile, which will automatically import events from your calendar as offline time after event has ended. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always write to us at support at desktime.com. Happy tracking!